I'm Matt Lampson, goalkeeper in Major League Soccer. At the age of 17, I was diagnosed with cancer. With the help of my doctors and my family, I was able to beat cancer and go on to playing professional soccer. That's my story. Now I want to hear yours. Hey guys, I'm Matt. Uh, I'm really excited that you're taking the time to talk to me, and I'm very excited to learn about COG. So what is COG? Well, I, I often joke that the Children's Oncology Group is one of the best kept secrets in the, in the country, you know, because we do, we have this pervasive impact, and yet people don't know about us. Uh, but we're the group that's running the pivotal studies that are going to change the way children are treated. We're also in, incorporating some of these very targeted drugs that really go at the underlying molecular cause of a cancer. So instead of these blunt instruments of chemotherapy and surgery and radiation, we use much more targeted therapy. Everybody is going to be touched by cancer in some way. And I think for most of us, what's really important is how can that child really have the best chance for getting through treatment? How can we make it better for future families and children? As an epidemiologist, uh, really the only avenue to do uh, large-scale epidemiologic studies of childhood cancer is through COG. It's really a forum where we can not only engage clinicians and scientists who are doing this work, but also have access to the kinds of populations that we need to uh, involve in our studies. This is the team sport, right? You need to pull together the individual strengths of lots of people who have different specialties, different focus, different interests, but they're all coming together for a common goal. What made you want to get involved in children's oncology? I got involved with this not because I was a researcher, but because I was a pediatrician and I was really moved by the patients and families that I took care of. So it's that immediacy of seeing both success and failure to me, that's the driving force. It's because there is a child behind the question that we're trying to answer. And it's a life that we're trying to make better. And you can look at statistics. You can say that chance of surviving this cancer is X percent or Y percent. But for the child that's sitting in front of you, it's 100 percent or nothing. Why is kick childhood cancer so important? Proportionally, the amount of grant dollars that go for childhood cancer research is relatively small. Without external organizations like Kick Childhood Cancer pushing this, we're going to continue sort of working in the margins rather than having the kinds of external funding we need to really start pushing into the next generation of studies that, that we need. What does the future look like for COG? COG is on the forefront of helping develop these studies to understand why kids develop cancer. And why is that important? One concerning statistic that we've encountered is that over the last 30 years, the incidence of pediatric cancer has continued to increase. You know, when we think about what the next generation is, I have nurses and physician's assistants who were patients who had cancer in their own childhood and now they have dedicated their careers to helping others. Awesome, thanks a lot guys. I really enjoyed learning about COG. So how can people help COG? Um, there are a number of amazing childhood cancer foundations um, that support COG activities. You know, the campaign that Major League Soccer is doing, the childhood cancer is super important. People get involved, it can be time, it can be money, it can be making phone calls, it can be all kinds of things that help us further the mission. These are all things that are really important, whether it's, it's working locally to support the families, fundraising locally, fundraising nationally, changing uh, national legislation and funding priorities to make sure that we can continue to improve the outcomes for children with cancer. And just like that, our Kick Childhood Cancer Month is over but we are nowhere near the end of this fight. This episode, I just want to take a few minutes to look back and thank everyone that was involved in this journey. 